Hey guys, the objective of this video is to look at the minimum steel requirements. So in the previous video, we found the amount of steel we need per meter. We saw that we needed 497 millimeters squared per meter. Now, the code has a clause which says that you always need to satisfy a certain amount of minimum steel per meter. Um, and the clause is in 9.1.1. So we're at right at the start of section 9, um, strengths and serviceability for slabs. If you go to 9.1, 9.1.1, you can read all this, but at the end of the day, we're interested in AST on B. I'll zoom in for you guys. So the area of steel intention on, to on top of the um, width, and width, width times depth um, is not less than. So we're looking at clause B because we've got slab supported by beams or walls on four sides. That's what we have. So we're looking at this section. All right, so at the end of the day, all you want to do is ensure that AST on BD is greater than all of this. So let's just look at what these values are. Once again, because we're doing this all for a meter width, so if I just draw a quick schematic of our slab, so we have something like this. This is one meter in length. We have the reinforcing like that. Now the total depth of our slab, we, have, we assume that at the start to be 230. So that's 230 mils, and we know little d is the depth to our um, layer of steel, which we saw to be 199. So I'll try to find that for you guys, just to remind you. So we saw that in one of the previous videos. There's a little picture, so 230 and 199. So that is that little drawing there, and now we're looking at one meter in width. So I'm just going to start. Well, actually, before I sub in the values, we just need to find one more value. We need to find this fct.f. So fct.f dash equals. So you get this from right at the start of the standard. So this is the um the